<laughs> I wasn't eating the microphone. I was eating. He, I was not eating, eating the, the microphone. Filter. He's eating the pop filter. There's a difference. Is this better? So I fought. <laughs> I fought QD and I fought QD and winners, and it went the last hit. And by went the last hit, I mean I had the lead, in, until I didn't have the lead because he's at 100 and I'm at 40. So he's in the lead, you know. Yes. I feel like this is gonna be a similar story. QD's movement is crazy. He really schmoves with his Mario. He just wave bounces. Yeah, but his upbeats are also really good. Uh, he was he would literally go perfectly over all of my projectiles with up B to get off ledge. If only I explored it did not cover all of that distance. I mean my whip covers all of that distance. It's just like I'm throwing cross, I'm not expecting him to perfectly arc over with up B and then but smack my me in the face. Forward air is tall. What? But my forward air is tall. Mine's is probably longer though, I'm not sure though. Well of course it is, what? <laughs> Listen, it's Ike, dude. You never know. Did you see the picture of Ike dash attack hitting Pac-Man's fire hydrant? I haven't. I'm pulling this up for you. This is the stupidest photo I've ever seen of this game. I'm the same here. I'm looking forward to it, personally. It, he, I think he dash attacks the hydrant, and the hydrant pushes him away my man from just, itself my on man the just same frame. landed with aura sphere charge. Yeah, and then that. focus palmed. Yeah, he does that. <laughs> nice. Like, he didn't hit me with. He uh, countered side B and used it to punish pressure. He, he, when I was fighting him, he really, really liked landing with R Spear. I smacked him a lot of the time for doing that with Uppy. Not even out of the shield, like just Uppy. But oh yeah, here it is. Here it is. And before I see it, I just want to say I kind of want pressure to switch to Wii Fit, both because I think it would be a he better matchup. Does he not? I thought he had a Wii Fit. What? No, I thought he was having a Wii Fit. He has a Rosa and oh. a Zelda. Well, I wanted to have a Wii Fit so that I can watch someone play Wii Fit. Wii? Yeah. There we go. Here's this. <laughs> That's flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, right. I wish I could play a character such as that. I can't believe QD just ate an F Smash at ledge. At and 80, at full rage, it was fine. Mega Man sucks. I mean, he's one of the best zoners in the game, but like, he sucks, you know? Well, yeah, he's I mean, probably. You, you can't get through pellets, but as soon as he stops putting up the charade, it's just like, oh, wait, there was a dumb character. Is he still. He's. Other than Snake, he's probably the best zoner in the game, right? Like, just best at keeping people away? He's. I, just tier list. Oh, tier list? Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. he's like, what, high tier people put him at? Uh, yeah. Damn, Pellets really be a high tier move. Honestly. Yeah, no, actually. Pellets is a high tier character. <laughs> he's got some combos with Metal Blade. Yeah, yeah. He's got stuff. Yeah, I, I, give, him a, I give him a bunch of traps. And Mega Man's got some stuff. It's always interesting to watch. Ooh, ooh, calling out the jump with the random four there. That was nice. Yeah, it was random. That he's was a got a out. bunch of low commitment stuff, and sooner or later it'll all wind up for That's the one unfortunate thing about QD. He's got crazy movement, but all of it's in the air, so you can like almost always count on him jumping. Remember when people thought Little Mac was gonna be a threat because of the game's engine? It's because of his recovery. And they buffed all of his And stuff. also you can just do a down tilt while running. And yeah. people thought that would make him a good character. I mean I miss Little Mac. He is a good character, it's except his recovery. I really miss Dreamland Express. Oh, his infinite on jabs? You, you, you know who misses it. that? Nobody except Little Mac player. Look, I missed it. It's an infinite. That's all that mattered. Dude, it's an infinite. You saw me doing it. It's because I had... I, I, Bro, I his frame one jab. Damage. His frame one jab it should not It was not, not infinite. an infinite. It only did 30 damage. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like the Icy's Wobble in this game that does like... It's like footstool jab. So like... Look, it so like only it does one percent per wobble, so it, it takes only, like a year. It only did more damage than Ike ever expects to get off of any one there. I, I feel like that's not accurate. It actually is. He can only get like twenty-seven in this. Good God. That uh, that was well placed from pressure, but I'm questioning QD's spacing. That was a little sus. But all right. I wonder what he wanted to do there. Recover. But he was like so high above stage. He, he still had like to I recover. Yeah, but like how? 
land. That was a late there, uh, a little earlier. Yeah. So that's the thing. When Lucario has aura, it goes straight through everything Mega Man has, and his entire game plan is just throwing things at you. So like, it, it is Lucario's in Smash 4, anyways. It was his easiest matchup. I don't know about this game. But like when Mega Man's entire game plan is pellets and you kind of like just ignore pellets, you know. I remember one time when I was playing in an amateur bracket in Smash 4 of 4 Priority 4. I was playing against the Lucario round 1. I took the first stock and then I literally just circle camped him without pushing a button for the rest of the game. Circle camped him as Ike? Yeah, I just kept running away and it was a Lucario at 0%. That's disgusting. I, honestly, that's I a play. I had a great time. That's low-key a play. I should have done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if you never hit him, he never gets the aura, right? Yeah. Other than stock aura, which is ludicrous. Exactly. Uh, yeah, no. That's gonna go straight through your side beat. Uh, uh poor spacing. He was respecting. He was respecting aura here a lot. Which is well, I mean, you kind of have to. Uh, what does Mega Man do about that? Like Shield. IQ, what do a lot of characters do about that? Because I was noticing, um, even at full aura, Cross, Belmont Cross traded with it until half charge and then at like three quarters to full charge it went through. That's the thing about Lucario. The more he charges it, the more ignorant it gets. Yeah, yeah. Not like just because it's big. It's just, it's just ignorant. I know at some point in like early Ultimate or late Smash 4, I was playing against Runes at Lucario because he had a Lucario. Runes was a Lucario? Didn't he have a Lucario in Smash 4? Wasn't Runes a Falcon in 4? Was he? I don't... And now he's a Donkey Kong? I just assume Runes played everything, but some Michigan player. Yeah, he's Falcon Donkey Kong. What, what are you talking okay, about? Okay, okay, okay. Some Michigan player who had a good Lucario. Are you talking about QD? Is he a Michigan player? I think he's Northeast Ohio. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Michigan. Some Michigan Lucario. He got me off stage and he just put a focus, he put an aura sphere just on the line that I would travel whenever I want to side B. Yeah. And I, then I do that also with catch that with up B. Yeah, but like his is a straight line that I have to side B into. Yeah. Over well, under. Well, X, X fall speed is like, I think it's almost the same fall speed as Ike. Something like so it. So if yeah. I anticipate it, I can just put that in your face. It's like here, have fun. Yeah. Oh, that was a nice game. Uh, I, I, I can't wait for QD to be at 69%. The one thing, Lucario's been nerfed in weight and in aura. He's gotten some buffs in other places, but one thing that I don't like about him is they change his back air. I don't know if it's slower or if the hitbox has changed, but it's just not as good as it used to be. It's a lot harder to do landing back there. It's not like it's not like an ignorant move. Oh no. Nice oh no. Oh Alright. That was weird, but I respect it. <laughs> I mean Yeah. Cutie, was, was like Cutie could have gone around hit. that. It was like a back hit of the That's how I was doing. Oh fair? I, I was talking about the uh, Oh here. the kill yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I just stop paying attention to things like two seconds after they happen because object permanence isn't real. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, oh, oh not gonna tech that. That's gonna be a punish. Ooh. Leap shield. Ooh, oh! <laughs> oh, why didn't you up till? Does up till kill at 60? Eh, it's not that good. It's not that good? Okay. Luigi up to you with you. Just a uh, Mega Man. There it is, there it is. Okay, now it'll kill. Like 100%. He missed a strong hit, but he's, he wants it. I don't think he's gonna go for it again. Pressure kind of like rarely uses that option, and Cutie's probably expecting it now. It's I certainly felt more it. of a call. -out. I felt it right there. That's it. Oh, he is super dead. He's not even on screen for one frame after that. Oh my lord. Can we talk about how Mega Man's hand just gets really big when he tries to grab? Does it? Observe. I don't think he's gonna grab here. Oh, good tech chase. I mean, no, there's not a whole lot he could have done there except wait. Oh, that was clean. And he's sold on the Mega Blade. Let's, Let's go pressure. Let's go pressure. Is he at kill percent for S Smash right now? Yeah. Who knows? Oh, oh, did you see that? That was like VAR, down back hit. Oh my god. Oh. 
I, I feel like he DI'd that wrong. I don't know. It seemed like reasonable. No, it, it didn't purple screen. I don't think that should have killed. I, he might have held out. Yeah. Is it 2 0 right now? Yes. Yeah. Roy? You don't play Roy. Okay, go on to Rosa. Okay, I was gonna say, pressure playing an aggressive character. Hold on. <laughs> My job. Uh, Rosa, I, I don't think his Rosa is nearly as good as his other characters, but I feel like it's probably a better matchup versus Lucario. Yeah. Actually, maybe not. She's a lot taller. She's gonna be a lot easier to smack in the face with back here. I mean, at least. Supposedly, Orosphere will just get I, eaten by I think about it, can we talk about how massive Rosa is? Yeah, she's tall. Oh, good God. Floats. She's like... Dude, get you an Amazonian woman. Like, no, no, I Rosa. play a human character. I play Simon. He's not nearly that big. Snake isn't that tall. Rosa's huge. Well, yeah, she's like the mother of galaxies. I, you're right. Like, literally a deity. But, like... Snake's supposed to be like the giant one. Like, oh my god, look at Snake's her. Snake's just some dude. Snake's like seven foot or six foot or whatever. There's no way Snake's seven foot. Not in this game, but I'm pretty sure canonically he's like a really tall dude. I don't know. I've seen like. Not seven foot, but like he's probably like six three. Oh my god. Okay, what I an haven't even played. Incredible call out. That was a good call out. I didn't see it. I haven't played a Metal Gear Solid game, but when you say Snake, are we referring to the first one? What? You played through MGS, you know what I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, they're clones. They're the same well, height. Well, well, okay. The reason why I ask is because in MGS5, at least from the cutscenes I've seen, he is not like man giant. He's just as tall well, as not... everyone else. Spoilers. That's not oh, no. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish Venom was in this game though. He looks amazing. For I those wish of Big you Boss didn't hear game. that. He said it's because the person in Metal Gear Solid 5 is not Snake. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really wish Venom Snake was in this game, or at least Big Boss. Like, I don't even know who Venom Snake is. Venom Snake's Metal Gear Solid 5. Sick. He's got the horn. What? I like the horn. Yo, hello, Rager. How's it going? Uh, that, is Luma dead? Luma kind of hung out by ledge there for like a year. Whoa, what was that call out? You just do it sometimes. So you just kind of like... Send it. Ran back, turn around S. What, what was that? It's what you just said. You saw it. Yeah, but like, why? Sometimes you didn't even you have Luma. It wasn't that safe. He didn't have Luma. I'm like, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. He's using side B like a good amount. Is that move good? I, I, in this game, I think it's better. Okay. It might also just be that QD isn't dealing with it, so like might yeah, as well yeah, keep yeah. pressing it. Because it's like I think it's fine it, in this game it's though. It's like what you said. QD can move like hell in midair, although not really on the ground, so just cover all of that. The thing is, I don't I don't know if that move is good because the buzz is the only good Rosa. Like full stop. Yeah. And even then, I see him play. And even that, yeah, he doesn't play her that often. So. And you can't, you can't really trust the Buzz as secondaries because his Smash Four Olimar, he always played kind of weird, you know. Look, man, if it works. It, 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 sometimes it works. There's a reason he mains Rosa. It was better. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that was downbeat. I thought he tried to absorb that. Nair just ate <laughs> Aura Sphere at 100%. It wasn't Nair. Was it, was, it was Luma. Luma ate that. Okay. Same thing. It's I mean, that's the, Luma. Th that's the thing about Luma. Luma is just a meat shield. Yeah. Unless you run forward. Because Rosa sticks her head in front of the meat shield. Uh oh. Does Rosa have any good out of shield? Oh. Oh, I really wish he got hit by that. That would have been hilarious. All right, this is going down to the wire. Not going to find it. Mm -hmm. He wants a random up smash. Well, I feel yeah. it. He's fiending. Uh, back here? Actually, wait. How would the pressure kill in this situation? How would he kill uh, any smash attack? Oh, my God. 
Oh. He held. He broke his own shield. He did that to himself. All right. I probably.